Welcome to the Gospel Road. I'm going to look at Proverbs 3 today. It's been cold the next couple days here in central Iowa. Very cold, actually. <laughs> it's uh, the interesting conversations that uh, you're hearing people, or that I'm hearing people having uh, with, the, uh, with the weather coming through, the Arctic temperatures, the polar vortex. Yeah, it's going to be cold. We'll just leave it at that. So if you're in the area, you hear this, you know, be safe. That's very important. It really doesn't matter where you are when you get into this weather. It's always uh, trying to do your best to be safe, stay warm, and being smart about it. That's really what a lot of it comes down to. We always call it uh, common sense, but it's being smart. Just like when we're living and in life, being smart and how we're doing things of how we need to uh, take care of that to uh, get it taken care of. And, um, yeah, be smart, which is one of the things that I try to, I guess, talk about when we uh, are doing these podcasts all the time, being smart, you know, using your head, you know, being, you know, using what you know and using the people around you, not using them, but, you, you know, really trusting them and, you know, working on those relationships and helping them. Uh, again, you all know, you know, my beliefs and how, it, you know, the, the being spiritual, believing in God and the relationship with God. But that's just one of the examples of relationships of how we need to be treating one another, how we need to be treating our coworkers, family, friends. So Proverbs 3 is uh, what we're going to look at today. And of course, pro- in Proverbs, you can pretty much you know go through Proverbs and I could probably have a podcast on every single um, line through that, the uh, wisdom that is given through those scriptures and I, I might do that someday, uh, go through those. In fact, you probably even write a book with uh, the different ones and the sayings that you can use. I know they've had the Proverbs calendars where it's a different proverb uh, every day as you're going through a year. Proverbs 3, it says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For a length of days and years of life and peace, they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting with wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves as a father, the son in whom he delights. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. For the gain for her is better than gain from silver, and her profit better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called blessed. The Lord, by wisdom, founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke open and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely and your foot will not stumble. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or the ruin of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those whom it is due when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. 
Do not plan evil against your neighbor who dwells trustingly beside you. Do not contend with a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a man of violence and do not choose any of his ways. For the devious person is an abomination to the Lord, but the upright are in his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the dwelling of the righteous. Toward the scorners he is scornful, but the humble he gives favor. The wise will inherit honor, but fools get disgrace. I said lots of great pieces in here that we can apply to our lives in all aspects. And that's the thing that I'm always talking about. It's how you're applying these things in every part of your life, how you're treating one another, how you're dealing with others. And again, it's we're living in a world, we're living in a life of a relationship, we're living in a life of bringing people together, helping them be better, helping them succeed. Because when they succeed, I succeed. By helping them be better, I am going to be better myself. You know, loving unconditionally, unconditionally, which is the hardest thing to do. You know, having the grace and mercy. God gives us grace and mercy. We need to share that with others. And I know that's not always easy. That's not always easy, especially in the workplace. Because if you have someone who just keeps tripping up all the time, all the time, all the time. And sometimes for many of us, depending on what we have chosen to do, maybe we've not chosen the right path. Maybe we're not doing what it is that we should be doing. You know, this is just it. And I know a lot of us, that's kind of how it is because we're doing a job to do it because we have to work. We have to make money. We are doing the best we can to supply for our family, provide for them to just be able to live life. It's not like we're able to trade things off like we could a hundred years ago. You know, everything takes cash now. You have to have money. You go to the store, you have to have money to buy your groceries. You need gas for your car. You need money to pay for that gas. I mean, in some ways, it's we're in a different world, at least here in, in the United States. I know in other countries, there are some that still work with trade, but not all of them. Most of them have went to it's that monetary system. You have to have cash. If you want this, you need to pay for it. Completely different. And I mean, that's a completely down road of a different conversation to have there because then it comes to government and taxes and everybody wants their peace. And like I said, not where we're going. For us, it's really having that knowledge that we're able to share with one another and giving them the best that we can so they can be the best that they can be. I know I'm not always doing everything the right way. I try to do my best, and I do my best to be my best, to try and really share that information, to help others do what it is that they can do or what they want to do or what they're called to do. And all that, when it comes to the purpose, that's the purpose of building up one another, to help others be the best that they can be. You know, like in verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. You know, it's not leaning on everything I know. Sometimes I have to lean on somebody else. You know, God's going to put somebody in my life to help me. I I don't really understand this. So you're going to help me understand it so I'm able to do what it is that I need to do. You know, even at the bottom, the very last verse in Proverbs 3, the wise inherit honor, but fools get disgrace. You know, people start acting foolish. What normally happens when you're not, you know, living your life you know, using your mind and being smart about how you're making those decisions. I mean, you're just shooting your mouth off. Again, we really could just take each one of these and and do something with that. And, uh, you know, as I do these, it's more of an overview and just kind of sharing what's on my heart, what's in my brain. And here's what I'm thinking. And here's what it's, it's, you know, showing to me and, and, and what it's giving to me. And hoping that I'm able to share that and and give it to others so, you know, you're able to do what it is that you can do. The best that you can do for others is you're trying to, you know, succeed and help others be better as well. You know, a lot of that is when you learn things, do your best to not forget them. You know, verse one, do not forget my teachings, but let your heart keep my commandments for the length of days and years of life and peace they will be added to you, verses 1 and 2. So it's remembering the teaching, remembering what you learn, holding on to that. 
you know, knowing what is true and keeping that in your heart, you know, having that philosophy, having, you know, those morals that you, this is how I need to live. This is how I need to live by. This is what I need to do. Because again, in some ways, even though it's about building up others, it's still, I have to be true to myself. I have to not go against my beliefs and how I am trying to do things because I still need to be happy with me. Being happy with me is sharing that joy and that happiness with others is you're helping them to really show them this is what I do know and what I'm able to share with you, that knowledge that I have gained, the things that I have learned that I can pass on, that I can help you. I can help you know you grow, help you be better in what it is that you do where you work with your family, with your friends. Proverbs 3, that's what, uh, again, we're looking at today. Read it for yourself. What is it that really touches you? What it really comes into your life when you read it? Again, we're in different parts. We're in different areas of life. And I cannot encourage you enough that when I go through these, to read them for yourself. It's not just, it's not what I see. It's not what I say. It's what you see when you're reading that and what it really comes in and what it says to you is you're trying to make that step for you as you are growing and you know providing for your life to to be better to succeed to be successful proverbs 3 thank you for listening to the gospel road have a great day god bless and if you're in any of the cold areas stay warm the best you can